Born in Brussels, Belgium, Jean-Claude freely admits that he was a skinny, sensitive kid who loved classical music and painting. As a youth, he was trained in ballet and karate. He turned down an opportunity to join the Paris Opera as a dancer to focus on karate and bodybuilding. By the age of 18, Jean-Claude was already a successful Belgian businessman, owning and managing his large fitness center in Brussels. But his heart was not in it. I was doing very good, money-wise. Uh, but I said, what am I doing here? I love movies. Am I going to stay the rest of my life here? So I talked to my parents. They said, are you crazy? Only 19. Uh, you should take the money and invest. And you're going to go, what, in America to become a movie star? You? Uh, Jean-Claude, you don't speak English, you don't, you don't have any green, no green card, and you're going to go and just... He said, I'll try. It was a big fight between me and my family, not because, I mean, they love me, they want good for me. And uh, for five years, I was pushing here every day, I mean, five, six years, nothing happened. It was very difficult. And many times I want to go back because I don't have nobody, I mean, I was, I was having no friends, you know, it's difficult when you come from another country. His career was just barely getting off the ground when he met Gladys Portuguese. Jean-Claude and I met, um, it's five years now, at Baja, California, at a photo shoot. When we were dancing finally in the discotheque, at the last day, and he um, wouldn't dance with me, nor I didn't ask him to dance with me because I felt kind of funny, but I was wondering why he wouldn't ask me to dance with him, so I was getting very furious, a little upset. And I go over to him with my typical New York attitude, you know, why won't you dance with me? He says, oh, because I was waiting for you to dance with me. So we started to dance, but at one point when it really hit was when he took his shirt off and he had suspenders and that was it. <laughs> She cracked up. Why'd she sell the suspenders? Well, I fell in love then. I said, ooh, suspenders. Cooing. So it's not me. She fell in love with my suspenders. No, and your green eyes. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at my eyes, please. Close up. The green or what? <laughs> After the success of Cyborg and Kickboxer, Van Damme was established as an international action star. And his next film was MGM's Death Warrant. In Death Warrant, Jean-Claude plays a Canadian cop we want to send you undercover into Harrison as a prisoner. The assistant warden was murdered. Might be linked to the deaths of some prisoners. Nine in the last few months. She's gravel! At the root of the killing spree is an old nemesis, the notorious Sandman, played by Patrick Kilpatrick. I walk on the set, that big factory, and again I left and I designed the fight on a piece of paper with ideas. Uh, it, it, it take a lot from you and also the guy, the Sandman, was not a fighter, he was a good actor with a good face, he looked very strong and the guy was very it was, I was having a difficult time to show him how to throw a punch or a kick so we came up with some ideas like you know that and him throwing me from the ceiling and mm. It's difficult to build a fight scene from a script. You have to be on location. You always find special stuff. Welcome to hell! Despite his rapidly growing success, Jean-Claude still keeps in constant shape by following a strict, multifaceted training regimen. It's important for him that he runs and jogs because he's concerned about um, keeping your heart going and not being too stressed because in this kind of business is very stressful. And you gotta keep yourself in great shape and try to keep up in keeping yourself in good shape because if not, if you sort of say, oh, today I can't do it, and before you, before you know it, today it lands up to be 10 days later that you have not trained. But he's very conscious and he's very prudent and um, he has to train and he has to work. It's a drug. Once you've worked out for so many years, it's become a part of you, like a good relationship is a part of your life. When you have your kids, they're a part of you. you know? Here's the producer of Double Impact, Moshe Diamat. It's physical energy. It's amazing. 
I, I remember one scene, it was toward the end of the shooting of the movie in Hong Kong. It was like three o'clock in the morning, we're shooting a fight on this famous crane. And everybody was really tired. And he was fighting since dark, which was like at seven o'clock in the evening. And everybody was sitting half dead. They were setting up the cameras for the next shot. And I saw Van Damme standing in the corner and doing sit-ups to pump up his, his muscles. And it's amazing. He's not using any artificial stuff, so he has to exercise non-stop. Training, it's not difficult. Training, it's easy because I love to train. What's difficult, yes. When you're doing movies, you're thinking about the release, about the publicity, about the next one, the script, this, that, the position, that. And when you train, you have to take everything out and to be empty in your brain. Because when you train, to put on muscles, especially a small guy like me, I mean a small guy, I'm not too small, but I was very small, but to, to, to become from small to big, you have to concentrate. You have to to focus on, on your biceps, your chest, your back, and you have to fo forget everything about business. That's the difficult part. No, so we'll make two and one. It's kind of funny, like two yeah. Van Damme for the price no. of one. Yeah, but it's free, but that's an expression, Jay.